the missing component to anything I read or consumed growing up was that no one looked like me. I never saw the fat girl falling in love. It was this constant struggle of wondering if I was ever gonna get the type of happily ever after that I saw all my favorite Disney princesses get. The adage, if you can see it, you can be it, is so important. Representation matters. My name is Julie Murphy, and I am the number one New York Times bestselling author of Dumplin'. And I'm so excited to introduce you to my very first adult rom-com, If the Shoe Fits, which is a modern retake on the classic Cinderella. Hi, I'm Jen, and I read Julie's book, If the Shoe Fits. Oh, like I read it uh, professionally, like using a microphone and in a studio. And you know what? I narrate the audiobook. <laughs> In my opinion, the two juiciest things about If the Shoe Fits are Fat Princess and Dating Reality Show. I think that the reality dating show setup is really a great way to set up a modern day Cinderella. I mean, the ball is like right there with like all these women like gaggling over this one guy, this one suitor. The setting of the reality TV show allows us to look at her and her body like in contrast with like society. For sure. Julie, I think the Easter eggs that you have scattered throughout the book are so fun to find and figure out and then revisit. What are your favorites? It wouldn't be a Cinderella story without like a very iconic pair of shoes. So I can promise you that you'll see and hear about those. Cindy makes a statement with shoes in a profound way. So what do... What does the shoe in the story mean to you? So many of us spent years and years going to the mall with our friends. All I could shop at was like, you know, the two little towers of accessories they had up by the cash register or like the small selection of shoes. Cindy has, you know, really connected with the shoes for that exact same reason. She could always find shoes no matter where she was. And I think that that's something that will you know, resonate with a lot of fat people. My shoe equivalent is probably headbands, as you can tell. I'm a very <laughs> person. That was me, never with headbands, always with like body glitter. Body so, glitter. Don't mind me, I'm gonna go rub all of this purple stuff on my body while you go try on like mini skirts and tube tops. <laughs> yes. So good. <laughs> you and I in particular have people young and old who who really look to us for guidance when it comes to body positivity and fat liberation. What is your best advice for those who are struggling with their bodies? Once I had this revelation that I could just embrace my body and move on with my life, I expected to wake up every day feeling awesome about myself. And I think that the one thing that I wish I could impart to my younger self is that this is not a linear journey. Yes, be kind to your body, but also be kind to your mental self. It's an ever winding journey, but I do think that if you get your foothold in here enough into my body is fat and there is nothing wrong with that, then it also makes the other stuff that we buy into a lot easier to dismiss. If the shoe fits. Wear it, obviously, but also if it doesn't fit, make your own shoe. Yes! I love that so hard. <laughs>